CBS Radio 97.5. Joining us in this part of the program is this P-pop supergroup who is back bigger than ever with the release of their new single, WYAT, which stands for Where Are You At? Exclusively with 97.5 in Qatar. Now, the track is a follow-up to their highly successful EP entitled Pagsibol from last year. And since then, the group has received more recognition beyond the Philippines, even capturing the attention of media big wigs such as iHeartRadio, there's Rolling Stone, Teen Vogue, BuzzFeed, and Forbes, among others. They've also bagged nominations at the MTV European Music Awards as Best Southeast Asian Act and Billboard Music Awards as Top Social Artist alongside the likes of Ariana Grande, Seventeen, BTS, and Blackpink. On top of that, they also achieved the amazing feat of dethroning BTS as the longest-running number one hit on Billboard's Hot Trending Songs chart. You know what? I can go on and on telling you about their impressive professional profile so far, having joined the music business just shy of five years. But I would rather... Uh, hear it from them, if you ask me. So here with me in this conversation on QBS Radio 97.5, up close and personal, we've got Pablo, Stell, Ken, Justin, and Josh, collectively, SB19, everybody. How are you feeling, guys? Welcome. You're doing great. Hi, hello. Thank you for having us. <laughs> of course. Absolutely. You know what? First of all, allow me to officially welcome you on the airwaves of Qatar, broadcasting from sunny and hot Doha on QBS Radio 97.5. Do you mind if we do a roll call around the room so that we can hear you individually? Okay, we'll just introduce ourselves uh, individually. Get in the zone. Break. Hi, I'm Pablo. I'm Justin. I'm Josh. I'm Stel. And I'm Ken. And we are SB19. All right. Well, I'm absolutely thrilled to talk with you today, guys. I'm extremely happy and proud of your success as the first ever all Filipino pop group to have gained international success. How do you feel? Are you processing all of this? Like in wedding? And uh, we've been preparing for ourselves for, uh, for a very long time for this moment to, you know, come. And I think that we're ready and we're ready to conquer the world right now. Wow. wow. <laughs> That's really impressive uh, and to hear it from you. Yeah, you want to add to that? Uh, right now, we're just very excited because we are planning to meet our, our fans all over the world and we're just looking forward to perform in front of them live. And of course, mm -hmm. uh, we're excited to visit uh, the different countries to experience other country and of course, to try other food. Yes, <laughs> that's the number one in our bucket list. Picking up from what you just mentioned, that you are ready to just conquer the world and visit and see your fans from other parts of the globe for the first time. Uh, right now, I have a very nice vantage point of the guys. Well, I I'm saying this because this is going to broadcast on radio, but we don't have a visual. So I'm going to paint a picture for our listeners on QBS, you are just looking so smashing and so hip uh, with your black leather jacket and, and the boots. I am so digging the boots, by the way. Thank you so much. <laughs> we, we just had our press con earlier and we wore this. It is actually from our music video from the 50s, but we mm. tried to make it a little modern. Of course, absolutely. It fits so well with, with the look and your hair and all that. Here in the Middle East, it's going to be awfully hot. Of course, we've been to Dubai before. Yeah. Yes. And we know the weather there, so we will definitely prepare the attire that we're going to wear on the concert. But yes, we're ready to take off everything just hey. so we could feel comfortable with performing. Okay, well, maybe not so we're much. Very equipped <laughs> with your weather. It's not so much, my mom. Oh, your moms might be watching soon. We're very equipped with the weather in Dubai. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, okay. That, that's great to know. And we're also looking forward to, to have you visit us in Doha because, you know, you've got fans here and we've got a lot of Filipino audience here as well in Doha. Now, guys, I want to ask you about this because almost the same time last year, 2021, that's when the nominations just started coming in. You know, we were being compared to other well-established international artists. You know, a lot of critics say that you are going to be the best thing that's going to blow up in the Southeast Asian market accomplished so far because you've been in the business for not even five years yet. Of course, we're very thankful for the opportunities and the trust that was given to us by many, by the fans, by our sponsors and whatnot. 
even our staff. But then there's also a lot of pressure from us because, of course, every time we do something, we try to give our best, a better music, a better craft. But then with all those people that are looking at us right now, it gives us so much pressure to, to work harder, to give even more, yeah. Which brings me to my next question. In this part of the world, some of our listeners or part of our audience may be hearing about you for the first time four years ago just before you got discovered and just before you became a part of uh, show BT individually what were you guys doing sino yung youngest pala with Hayton's permission I'm actually going from a little bit of Filipino and English so my question to the boys was who's the youngest hi I'm Justin I'm the youngest member of SB19 and before the question was what we do you before doing yeah individually SB19. Yeah. before SB19 I was just a student I was in mm -hmm. college actually that's it I'm just studying and tried to finish college during our training yeah. days I was a student it is the same time that is it, it is in the same year when I graduated college and then we also debuted luckily I was able to finish my studies and debut together with them well, I was the same as Justin as well I was just a student before and unfortunately because of you know personal issues in my life and to, to be honest uh, it's, it's like a problem with myself and my family so I stopped studying for one year and then this opportunity came up I just know that I had to you know I had to grab it I feel like it's going to be a scam it's really good it was to be too good true. to be so true I was just so thankful to God that you know we're starting to uh, get known internationally yeah I hope that it will continue you know, 100 years as we say here inshallah you wanna you wanna add to that so that's two out of five one from the other yeah uh, I'm still for I joined this group I'm with Josh I'm, uh, I'm a cute. part of a cover dance group in the Philippines and we compete internationally Korea Indonesia Thailand and Singapore before oh and, wow yeah and while doing that I also work I went to Japan for six months to work for my aunt and after that I discovered show BT's audition they were looking for you know talented Filipino that can perform sing and dance and then I joined uh, surprisingly I was picked by the Korean bosses the Korean managers and then that's where we start our training yeah I become an SB19 member <laughs> I'm here was it your idea or Josh's idea to join or audition uh, actually at first it was uh, one member of our group before who invited us to audition to yeah. but uh, at first I, I was kind of hesitant because I, I've never tried joining any auditions before but I just told myself that maybe I should give this one a chance give it a shot like and then in just a snap I'm a member of SB19 <laughs> and everything is history and finally yeah. Yeah. well I'm the next member my name is Pablo before I became a member of uh, SB19 I was working as a a data analyst for a BPO company. I'm not really used to joining or auditioning for these kind of things. But then, you know, just like still, I gave it a shot and I was accepted. But I didn't really resign at my work. I tried to do it simultaneously. You know, right. my body gave up. So I had to give up one thing. And then I yes, told my mom. Yes, you had to choose. Yeah, I had to choose my mom. Mom, I'm going to resign. And her heart broke. Oh. Because I, I, I trained for three years before we become, you know, known by people so during those years during those three years uh, we weren't earning anything uh, we weren't getting anything from what we're currently doing so yeah it's a bit yeah. it's a bit of a stretch and it's really hard but then I'm really really thankful that uh, the group made it and now we're here so everything's going fine and hopefully in the next few years magpatuloy pa yung success ng group I'm sure you have show BT to thank for as well now I want to ask you and this is a question that is straight from one of our radio presenters and the producer her name got to train with Sandara who we all know is widely popular in the Philippines not really because we have the, the we have the different timeline with Sandara uh, actually no no not, not not really timeline but but was there a time that you got to meet her and really. she also gave you a piece of advice honestly no, yeah. we never really got a chance to see her in person even. yeah yeah so honestly. yeah but at least we know her friend Kuya Ryan. <laughs> yeah we, we know her 
we know one of uh, her friends is who is yeah. Kuya Ryan Bang, but then we never really got to uh, meet her. I know that we are down to just a few more questions. Congratulations uh, once again for all of your accomplishments, and we can't wait to see you. Sana makapunta kayo sa sa Qatar para naman uh, mamit niyo yung mga fans, fans and followers niyo in uh, Qatar, mga kabayan natin dito. Now, uh, I just want to simply ask you, kamusta yung Tagalog niyo? How's your Filipino? You know, speaking Tagalog is really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Magaling no, pa yung Tagalog nyo. Okay is your, your Filipino excellent? Po, we're, we're also trying to prepare ourselves for for ano, international ano, scene. Eh. So kaya na pinapractice po rin namin English namin. Pero yung Tagalog po namin, straight na straight pa rin. Tagalog pa rin. So, pwede nga lang po may translate. Ayan. Translate pa lang eh. <laughs> okay, pa-shoutout naman yung mga Filipino listeners natin. And I know this might come across as uh, exclusive, but please address your Filipino fans here in Italy. Uh, hello to the Filipino 18 or let's say uh, mga OFW sa Qatar, UAE and all over the, the world. Uh, hello po sa inyo. Salamat po sa pagsuporta sa grupo namin at para sa mga hindi pa nakakilala sa amin, kami po ang SB19 and hopefully po mapapanood nyo kami ng live once na pumunta na po kami sa Dubai at mahalay nyo sa, in the future ganyan po sa Qatar uh, salamat po yun lang po uh, we promise to give you uh, the best performance and of course ma-showcase po ang Filipino talent ingat po kayo mag-ingat po kayo lagi yeah, maraming salamat I wanna quiz you just quickly now para din matest talaga natin kung gaano kagaling yung Filipino nyo are you ready? I'm just gonna ask you to translate a few Filipi- a few words Sige from po. Filipino to English rice takip silim dawn bukang liwayway Sun, ah, sunrise. Ay, galing. Kasintahan. Oh. Sorry, Sorry po. Kasintahan. Ah, love. love, 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 love. Darling. Lover. Darling. <laughs> okay. Baby. I'll, I'll accept Abibi. that. Kapatid. Sibling. Sibling. Liham. Letter. A letter. Letter. Um, Natagpuan. Bound. Nawala. Lost. 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 Di ka panipaniwala. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Buntong hininga. Sai. Sai. Agham. Science. 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 Talino. Smart. 300. Tatlong dal. 99. Siyam na pot siyam. Tama. Okay, very good. That's 100%. You had 15 out of 15. Guys, you are marvelous. Thank you so much for playing the game with me. And again, from uh, QBS Radio 97.5, SB19, everybody, I'd like to say thank you again to uh, the boys, uh, to Pablo, Stel, Ken, Justin, and Josh for taking our uh, call today. And you guys are amazing. We'll see you soon. Thank you so, thank much. Much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hope to see you thank soon. You. Thank you, Chloe. Bye. Thank you for having us. Take care.